Hi everyone, my name's Kelly Marie. Um, I'm starting this YouTube vlog um, because I myself have suffered from mental health issues and also been discriminated, um, bullied, um, and basically just done over by social by the social services. Um, and I feel that we need to, as parents, coming together and getting the abuses um, of, 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 of the power that they have. Um, my, my story goes back 14 years. Um, and in 14 years, I've never been given the opportunity to prove I can parent. Um, I've never been given a fair crack at the whip, so to speak. Um, and I have a little boy that is eight in September and he went to his dad, um, and unspeakable things happened to my son and I never knew about it at the time. Um, I found out about a year and a half after the fact um, and I had a gagging order put on me to keep shtum and the more we keep quiet about the abuses that go on within this corrupt system that we have, the more families are being ripped apart. After my little boy was taken off me um, at, th at three days old, um, I ended up physically paralyzed for months. I had to learn to walk. Um, I couldn't function um, independently. And that was because the grief had shut my body down. Um, and when my little boy was born, um, initially I was told that he would be kept in because they found um, abnormalities with him. Um, and then I got a drink from the hospital restaurant and came back and all of a sudden two social workers, one of them a trainee, um, the police, hospital security came and ripped my son from my hands in the middle of the whole entire ward at the hospital. Um, and you know, and all of this happened after they said I could keep my son. Um, but I would have families, family support put in place, which, okay, fair enough, I, I accepted. I've never disputed that. Um, and then, yeah, my whole world just ripped apart again. Um, and and I've, I've come to the realisation that we're keeping quiet. For what? Who are we trying to protect? It certainly isn't them. And I think they need, it needs to be made national public about the, the horrendous behaviours coming from such people that are meant to be there to help. And they discriminate. Um, hor horrendous things happened between me and my first ex and they rewarded him for that um, and his behaviour to say the least over the last 15 years has it's just got worse and they still keep brushing it under the carpet um, 
yeah, the, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted by how abusive they are. And I can see why parents take their children. I can see why parents lose their rag at social services. Because they bring it on themselves. They discriminate, they bully and they victimise. And it has to stop. It has to stop now. And more and more kids are being damaged because of their abuses. They pick on those that love their kids, that would protect their kids, that would fight to the very end of their breath for their kids. I would. Um, and they ignore those that are vulnerable, that are at risk. And then it's too late. And I don't know about any of you other parents, but there aren't many groups that you can speak openly, that you can speak to other parents that are in that situation as you. And, you know, April 2020, I will be honest, I did something stupid. I hurt myself. And that wasn't because of, of them. I wouldn't give them the satisfaction. But it was because my dearest youngest sister, unfortunately, sadly passed away at the age of 20, 24 on the 30th of December 2019. And... They held that against me. And that was the last time my mental health took a decline. I've been mental health clear for 15 months. I've got a beautiful home. I'm back in education. I'm studying to hopefully one day, one day become a midwife myself. And it feels like nothing is good enough. So... What can we humanely do that is going to prove to people that we, we, just because we got, you know, some of us might have physical problems or mental health problems or, or even two heads, very unlikely, but still, um, that we are just as good as what that, as any other parent. There's a, a, a woman without arms and legs that brought up a child. There's parents with schizophrenia that are happily bringing up their children. Why should we be ground down to nothingness? Because that gives them the ultimate power. Enough of this corrupt, bureaucratic system that thinks it's okay to use children as cash cows. Foster carers, did you know, get a minimum of £800 a week per child? That is mental. Absolutely crazy. And... Ugh. You know, I've got a little boy. I've got four girls, two amazing boys. And my every single little one of mine mean more to me than... I, I dare even think, and I would fight to the end for them. I would protect my kids as best as I can. And, yeah, it, my youngest, he's he's my little miracle boy because I'd lost twins as an ectopic and... I was told I couldn't have any more. I was okay with that. But then I fell pregnant with Ryan, despite having an implant in. And he he's very, very lucky to even be alive today. I was, um, my waters went at 27 weeks and I then ended up sepsis um whilst pregnant with him 
and he was born at 28 weeks and he weighed two pound eight perfect ounces and I sat by his bed his incubator for up to 14 hours a day every day for seven weeks even stayed overnight sometimes and that isn't good enough but apparently that nah, um, I was having contact three times a week, um, possibly sometimes even four. And then last October, they cut my contact and I've not seen or heard anything of him since. And Ryan's dad doesn't care about him. He's not bothered with him in, in nearly three years. And that breaks me, but just because... I, I'm on my own. Ryan um, gets five times the amount of love. And it's just, yeah, it, it's just horrendous. And I think now is the time where we, as a society, that are on the receiving end of these behaviours, we fight back. And we fight good and proper. And I had a pre-permanence panel because they're still trying to go for adoption. And I said to them, I said, if you go after any animal for their young, they will rip you apart. And that's what parents are. They are fiercely protective of their, of their young ones. And my little boy is... He is the sweetest, most gentlest little boy I've ever had the grace to have. And I've I've got six amazing, perfect human beings. They may take our children, they may strip our dignity down, but they cannot, no matter how much they want to try, change their DNA. And this is the DNA within these little ones that we've got to fight for. It's not fair for a child to grow up not knowing who their mum or their dad is, not knowing where they came from. You know, my 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 kids have got an amazing heritage. You know, and my both of my boys have both got my my dad's name. My dad sadly passed away nineteen years ago. And for me, it's not just a name. It's the history behind that name. It's the legacy of me and my family. My family is Scottish, so that's another part of their heritage that they deserve to know. And my youngest daughter, Kayla, she she was put with her dad um, and he's brought her up under a different name. So when her day comes to get her national insurance or or anything, she's going to wonder why she's got two names. That is damaging them. It's just... Anyway, this is the people versus social services, the unbreakable bonds. And this is a group where we can all come together and we fight back. We fight for what is right. And... We fight for our children's futures. Um, if you've got physical, mental or any type of disability, come and join. We can openly f speak about this. We can... It's all confidential, no, no, no judgment. Um, and it would be absolutely fantastic to see you all. And you know we fight back come on let's get together and we overrule these people we get our children back it can be done and they need to know we are coming for them big time we are coming for them and we will take them down off their perch they look down on us like we're we're something to be trodden on we're not we're human beings, we have feelings, we have rights and they are breaching 
both your children's and ours human rights. So come on, let's get together and we hope to speak soon. Right, bye.